So yeah, let's look at some of the cool extras. Um, so at the top of the screen, you have the share screen button, and I'm clicking that. Or actually, you should click that and show them. I think it's going to, I'm in full screen mode right now. I think it's going to double up, but let's see what happens. Well, it'll bring up a pop-up that'll allow yeah. you to choose what you want to share. I have the option of, of choosing the, <laughs> the this you window or the screen, screen sharing request you window. This, you get a wonderful recursive uh, dive into infinity. Yeah. That's what, it, that's what it looks like we're going to have right now. Now, now, now. There it goes. <laughs> but it does work. Uh, but you can share both the, the, the whole screen or individual windows, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but the difference is I can't actually... So here, I'll share like... Um, I'll share one specific screen. Um, so now you can see this GED window I've got. Um, <clears throat> the difference is it's not like screen sharing in the way where uh, you can now use my screen. It's just... Um, I can show you what's going on on my screen. I can like open a new tab and go to Lifehacker and show you something cool. Um, but uh, beyond that, uh, well, we've got Google Docs, right? Right. Uh, so on the sidebar here, there's the notes, and and if you click notes, it'll just open a um, a new a new doc that's specific to this um, conversation that we're having. But if you click on the little plus icon at the top of the documents section, mm -hmm. you can actually choose what you want to, uh, what you want to collaborate on. So, for example, I wonder if you can see this. This is the uh, animal if you have access to it. And then I do that. And uh, we can talk about Whitson's feature and edit it together, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what about Sketchpad? Then, so yeah, Sketchpad <laughs> is Sketchpad, which I've never really used much, but I can draw on it, you can draw on it, and <laughs> we're making some really nice illustrations here. Very nice. So, you know, whatever. It, it, it's basically, I mean, I think the cool thing about this is that uh, Google Docs is already really awesome for just doing collaboration, but uh, if we want to get, like, really into it uh, and collaborate at the same time yeah. and have conversations yeah. while we're doing it, we don't have to, like, IM with each other uh, separately. We can also just do it all live, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. And then there, um, you said that the APIs are, are uh, allowing people to integrate their own web apps into this, too. I did say that. In fact, check this out. Actually, that's so not the screen, though. The yeah, that's, screen the, I want that's the Google the post. Blog. I believe that this will be the one. No? Well, whatever. Anyway... Uh, web developers can uh, actually create web apps that can be embedded in a Google Hangout in the same way that um, that this that the Google Docs and Sketchpad and and uh, I guess sort of screen sharing are integrated. Yeah. So that uh, so that yeah, you can you can have Hangouts with your app inside them as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and it seems like it has a ton of potential. Saying, there we go. We're Introducing the Google Plus Hangouts API. All right, you found it. So anyway, uh, you get the idea. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. Legit. Yeah. It's a good update.